Today, I'm going to show you how to use the spin blur in Photoshop. Hey there, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on flurn.com, where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to use this spin blur, which is an awesome blur nested in the blur gallery. Now, if you photographed a car or a vehicle standing still and you want to make it look like it's actually moving, you can use this spin blur on the wheels to actually give them a rotation. It's a really great tool and it's simple to use. In this example, we'll show you how to use multiple spin blurs on multiple wheels and even how to use a mask to make sure you're just blurring the wheels. Now, in this case, we're blurring the wheels of a car, but there are a ton of uses for the spin blur. Basically, anytime you've got a rotational movement, the spin blur is perfect. All right, guys, we got a great episode. Let's jump into Photoshop. All right, so here's our image for today. We've got a car standing still, and although this is like a studio shot, you know, we're not going to have a blurry background, we are going to make it look like it's got some movement going on by blurring the wheels and the tires. So the first thing I want to do is duplicate our background layer. So I'm going to click on my background layer and drag it to the new layer icon. There we see we have our background and our background copy. This is so I can mask in just these areas when we're done with our blur. Okay, now it's really easy to do. Basically, click on your layer here. We're going to go to filter. We're going to go down to blur gallery and over here to spin blur. Now, the blur gallery was added in Photoshop CC 2014. So if you guys are using an older version of Photoshop, unfortunately, you will not have access to the spin blur. So let's go ahead and click on our spin blur and it's going to pull up our new window. And here you can see we've got a, a spin blur ready to go. Okay, now if you guys are using an older version of Photoshop, you will be able to also do the same thing. It's just going to be a little bit more complex. For older versions of Photoshop, simply go to Filter, down to Blur, and then to Radial Blur. Choose Spin, and you can apply a radial blur on different parts of your image. Now, you have to do each individual wheel separately, but you will be able to do the same effect. All right, let's go ahead and jump in and show you guys how to use the Spin Blur. All right, so you can see we've got a blur here. Now, starting off with our dialog, we've got our blur center here. So if I click here and drag it around, you can see this is how we control our spin blur. Now, we can control the amount of blur right here by simply clicking here. And you see clicking and dragging left and right is going to add more or less blur there. You can also change this right here in your blur angle. So you can have less or more blur by changing your blur angle. Now, hovering back over, we also have a blur center. So if I click here and drag inwards, you're going to see this is just blurring towards the center and fading out toward the, towards the edges. And as I drag it out, we're going to see it's going to go ahead and blur all the way out to my edges. Now, you can also change the size of your spin, okay, which we're going to be doing with our wheels and tires in just a second. Now, if you want to actually change the blur center, you can do so by holding Alt or Option and clicking here. And then you can see now I can change the blur center to right down there. So you can get interesting blurs like that. They don't have to be just right around the center. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and bring this right back to the center. Alt or Option, we're going to bring this to the center there. Okay, now I'm going to click here and bring this down to the center of our wheel. Let's go ahead and reduce our spin a little bit. There we go. Something like that looks good for right now. Now we're going to go ahead and make sure that our blur is going all the way to the edges. So again, here you just simply click and drag outwards. And let's resize this to the same size as our actual wheel. There we go. And we'll bring this out a little bit. Now you want to be relatively accurate. And in this case, we do have, there we go, we do have some spin on our wheel. But I also want to make sure the tire has a little bit of spin on it as well. So I'm going to go ahead and size this out just a little bit larger. There we go. Simply click and drag out. Okay, and that's going to make it look like, obviously, if the wheel is spinning, the tire needs to spin too, right? Like, <laughs> you're not going to have one without the other. Okay, cool. So, there we go. That looks pretty good. Now, in this case, we actually have a reflection. So, let's go ahead and lower our spin amount. I think right about there looks pretty good. Now, I'm going to hold Alt or Option and click here and make sure my blur center, again, we don't want it to be out of the edge, right? We, we want it to be right in the center of the actual wheel. Okay, and that looks good. And a blur angle of 10, I think, is working perfectly. Now, if we want to duplicate this, because we've got a reflection here, right? We need to make sure we are actually uh, blurring both the wheel and the reflection. Simply hold Option and Command if you guys are on a Mac, and it's going to be Alt and Control if you're on a PC. 
Okay, click here in the center and just drag out, and that's going to duplicate your spin blur. Okay, so in this case, we don't have to do this twice. We can just simply duplicate it. Now we're going to use a different technique for blurring some of this tread here in just a minute. Okay, so we got the front wheel done. Let's go ahead and do the back wheel as, again as well. So let's just simply click here on the back. Okay, it's going to load up. Let's go ahead and change our blur angle to 10 as well. We want it to be the exact same as our front. Let's go ahead and bring this in. All right, click on the controls there. And we want this, again, to be about the same shape as our actual wheel. There we go. And let's go ahead and bring the center on outwards. And it needs a little bit of a rotation, so let's just go ahead and rotate that around. That looks great. Now, we're going to hold Option and Command. Again, it's going to be Alt and Control if you're on a PC. There we go. And we're going to bring that to the bottom wheel and give this a little bit of the opposite rotation there. There we go. Okay, and now let's go ahead and click here. I'm going to hold Alt or Option, and we can change our blur center. We're just going to push this a little bit to the left there. All right, and we'll do the same thing here. Alt or Option, push that a little to the left. Great. Now let's go ahead and do our third wheel, and for this wheel we can simply just duplicate this. So click on your original spin blur, Option and Command, and click and drag out. It's going to go ahead and duplicate it. Okay, and then we're going to change our size here. There we go. Let's simply bring that down. And we want to bring this right around there. Okay, so you can see we do have some of that blur here. And then Option and Command, click here in the middle and drag that right down there. Okay, great. So now we can see we do have a decent bit of blur on our wheels. It looks like the car is actually in a little bit of movement, which is cool. Now in this example, obviously we've got like a static car with no blurry background. If you wanted to add a blurred background, you could simply cut the car out using the pen tool and then add a motion blur to the background as well to make the background actually look like it's moving as well. Okay, so jumping back in here, everything looks good. So we've got all of our spin blur, it's, uh, it's applied, and uh, we're going to go ahead and hit OK. There we go. And you're going to see it's going to take just a second to apply our blur. So now that our spin blur has been applied, you can see it's actually worked perfectly here on our car. Let's go ahead and add a layer mask on this layer because you can see in this case it's obviously blurring this part of the car. And we still have some tread. We're going to take care of that with another spin blur. So to start off, let's go ahead and click on our layer mask icon. Okay. Now on a layer mask, simply paint black with a brush tool anywhere you don't want this layer to be visible. So in this case, we're just going to make it not visible over the static areas of the car, right? Like the fender and there we go. These areas we don't want our spin blur to be visible right outside of the tire there. All right, and let's just turn that on. There we go. Make sure you're painting on your layer mask there. I was on my layer for a second. All right, there we go. And turning this off and on, now you can see we are just blurring our tires and wheels. Okay, that looks great. Now, in this case, we do have a little bit of tread here as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually create a new layer. We're just going to duplicate our background one more time, and I'm going to do that for just the tread because we need a different type of blur for the tread, and simply because they're overlapping areas, I want to apply different field blur. Okay, so let's go ahead and duplicate our background layer one more time. So let's click and drag that down. We're going to bring it right up to the top here. And now on this layer, let's go to Filter, down to Blur Gallery, and over to Spin Blur as well. Okay. Our blur angle, we want to make sure this is 10 so we can be consistent from one. <laughs> Let me just click there and drag it again. So we can be consistent from one tire to the other. All right, and let's go ahead and scale this down a little bit. And this we're just going to be using for the tread here. There we go. So we can see the tread does look like it's got some spin to it as well. Now, in this case, I'm going to hold Alt as well as Command. There we go, and bring this right down here so that tread gets some blur as well. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing. Make sure we've got our tread there. This area is going to get a nice blur to it as well. And then we're going to do the same thing right over here. All right, and the back one looks pretty smooth there anyway. Okay, let's hit OK and go ahead and wait for a second for that field blur to apply. All right, so after our blur is applied, let's go ahead and load a black layer mask onto this layer. So I'm going to hold Alt or Option and click here on my layer mask, which is going to make a black layer mask, making that entire layer invisible. 
And then we're going to paint white on our layer mask just here over top of areas like the tread. And you can see it does give it a really nice spin. Let's go ahead and do this right over here and over there as well. And you can see the back tire is relatively smooth there as well. Okay, so here we have our tread and here we have our wheels and our tires. So let's go ahead and shift click those, hit Control or Command G to group them together. And then to see the before and after, simply make it invisible and then visible again. And that's all there is to it, guys, how to use the spin blur in Photoshop. So if you guys want to do this on your own, just follow these key steps. First, go ahead and select an appropriate image. Now, if you photograph something like a car standing still, you want to add some movement, that's a perfect image for the spin blur. Next, go ahead and duplicate your background layer. Go to Filter, down to Blur Gallery, and over to Spin Blur. Within the Spin Blur, you've got a lot of control over your settings. You can change your blur angle by clicking on the radius right around the center, or you can go over to the right toolbar and actually change your blur angle there. You can change a blur center by clicking on those white round dots and clicking and dragging them in or out. And you can change the size and rotation of your blur by using the outer edges. If you want to change the center of the blur, hold Alt or Option, click on the center of the blur and move it around. If you want to duplicate it, hold Alt or Option plus Control or Command and click and drag in the center and move it to your desired location. Next, go ahead and click on the layer mask icon and make sure to paint black over the areas you don't want to spin. And in this case, we did it a couple of times, making sure we got the wheels, the tires, and the tread. Guys, if you love Photoshop as much as I do, go ahead and click on your screen right about now. We'll send you free Photoshop and photography episodes every single week. And if you have an idea for an episode or a question, comment about today's episode, go ahead and leave it in the comment box right down below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching Flurn. Have a great day. Just have a great life. <laughs> have a great rest of your life. Bye guys. You spin me right round, baby, right round like a spindler, right round, round, round. And go to filter, down to click and drag to move it. Alright. Alright, that was a good episode. <laughs>